every innovation creates a cascade of new challenges. Right. The more innovations you do and the faster you do them, uh -huh. the less time you actually have to begin to deal with that cascade. And so okay. ultimately, what is happening, that is different, very much so. And so, so you don't get to learn from mistakes, the mistakes add up and they take you down. Yeah. That's what I said about the shifting in the risk spectrum. Mm -hmm. By shifting towards the longer end and the unknown end, and I think that is one of the drivers why over a long culture like the Romans, you actually go from a long-term perspective to a short-term perspective. Because you get so many dimensions in which there are immediate problems that you start focusing on those and that you no longer can take the longer-term ones actually into account. So under, these, under that view, Europe is a much safer place to be than, say, China. China is China, addicted to innovation and is jamming China very, very has rapidly. huge problems. Uh, I was in China a couple of years ago at the request of the Chinese government as part of this uh, organization on, on the human dimensions of climate, of climate and environmental change. Hmm. And they gave us a special seminar about some of those problems. The fact that you have 300 million people, that is the whole population of the US, seasonally mobile between cities and countryside. The fact that you have cities where industry is decrepit, like the old steel belt in the US, where there is a million immigrants a year. Mm -hmm. China is totally addicted, and China is going to run into a huge problem at some point, and they know it. That is why they keep their, their money low, because they need 8 or 10% increase in, in gross national product a year to actually be able to keep that more or less focused. Are there, is there any other culture that is aware of the problem that way? Because the U.S. has the same problem, but we don't yeah. seem to be aware of it that well, way. Well, I, I, what I admire about the Chinese is they have much longer term thinking. Mm -hmm. If you see how they've dealt with Hong Kong, for example, how they're dealing with Taiwan without immediately pulling out the guns mm -hmm. and basically saying, okay, it'll take a century, but it'll happen anyway. Uh, <laughs> I think that's basically what is happening. I think they have a particular way of thinking about time, which is very, very different from ours, and it may end up that they will do the same thing as we're doing, and they'll end up ultimately having to deal with so many problems that it becomes much more short-term thinking. I'm not precluding that, but at the stage where they are right now, I admire them for their long-term long thinking.